And Mark Biro is going to tell us, as always, more information than we might possibly need about these guys. But nevertheless, let's go up to him. Take it away, Mark. Ladies and gentlemen, Cedric Kushner Promotions in association with the Spotlight 29 Casino presents the heavyweight explosion main event of the evening scheduled for 10 rounds. Your referee for this event from La Mesa, California, Pat Russell. <laughs> Introducing now the principals first in the red corner to my right, wearing the white sequin trunks with the black sequin trim. He weighs in at 296 pounds. His professional record reads 22 victories, five defeats, one draw, and 15 wins coming by way of knockout. He hails from Cleveland, Ohio. Here is Eli the Prophet Dixon. Dixon. His opponent in the blue corner, wearing the white trunks with the black trim. He weighs in at 226 pounds. His professional record, 33 victories, nine defeats, and 26 wins coming by way of knockout. He now fights out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Here is James Thunder. Thunder, 10 rounds, heavyweights. Right here, hip to hip. Touch him up 10 rounds, good luck. Come out with the belt. Pat Russell, short but sweet. You saw already Mustafa Muhammad, he'll be working the corner of Jimmy Thunder. He's training Thunder now. And I tell you, for an 18 month layoff, Kevin, Thunder really kept good control of his weight. He's always in great shape. But you thought maybe first fight back, he might be out, put on a little weight or something, but Coming in tonight with a very good 226, three pounds under what he weighed in his last fight 18 months ago against Witherspoon. One thing about Thunder, he's a specimen. He's very built, very good physique, very strong looking, looks in very good shape. Um, trained by a very good trainer, Eddie Mustafa. Keeps him out of box. A lot of guys just criticized him years ago because he was too big. Look like uh, more like a bodybuilder than a boxer, and uh, he's used that muscle very well. Eli Dixon in, in the category of fighters like James Gaines have good bounce, have some very good natural ability, and just can't keep the weight off. He bounces around real good for a man almost 300 pounds, and he's only six foot two. I'll tell you, Kevin. He, he fought last September 25th. He's put on 26 pounds since then. And he's got Thunder up against the ropes right now. And Thunder showing a little bit of that rust we talked about in the open. It's going to come shining through. I mean, you know, when you're all, especially in the first round, it's going to take Thunder at least two rounds just to find himself. Just to find himself. If it goes that long, he's all heavyweights. The longer the fight goes, I believe the better chances are for Thunder. Because Thunder is the lighter of the two, the quicker of the two. But take another knee like this, and he has a lot of weight behind his punches, as they say. And I tell you, first change. I think those are the biggest shorts I've ever seen on any heavyweight. Uh, Thunder looking a little out of sorts right now. I can't say he's out of shape, but he's... Not looking overly comfortable right now, and the rust, Arnie, is like I said, the rust comes shining through. Right now, he should be fighting a safety first fight. Well, keep in mind also, prior to that Tim Witherspoon win, that Thunder had been knocked out twice, once by Chris Burke, the other time by Maurice Harris. That was back in December and April of 97, respectively. Other than that, the only other time, time he was stopped was way back in 1990 by Mike the Bounty Hunter in four rounds. So, somewhat of a suspect chin. But the big thing I think here is the rust factor number one. And Jimmy Thunder is not fighting his fight. He's fighting Eli Dixon's fight by creating a slugfest, not keeping his distance, almost like 
with Dave Newlight in the jab. He's fighting a very inside fight. And, and with a little more than 10 seconds to go in the first round, Dixon has won this first round, at least unofficially on my card. On my card also. He's also... There's the bell. That's the end of that one. Well, Dixon perhaps prematurely waving his hands up in the air. He should be concentrating on, on trying to do what he just did for 10 rounds. I don't know how he's going to carry that weight for 10 rounds like that. Give me a win, David. That's the question I have. Give me a win. Can he do that for the next nine rounds? Very good. Wrap your head. I don't hold him behind the head. Pull those, uh, those trunks up so we don't look good. First round action. Thunder tries to throw that left over the right hand of Dixon and got certainly got Dixon's attention, but Dixon coming back with that big hook, followed by a right, and he got Thunder on the ropes, and Thunder was hurt there. Dixon charging with all 300 pounds into Thunder. Certainly using that weight advantage. Round two of a scheduled 10 rounder, and both fighters dropping down and a slip, and Dixon seems to have hurt his leg. And Kevin, here's where that weight just makes you very, very sloppy. Eli Dixon, after a very good first round, is so out of shape and off balance with that extra weight that right now he certainly has sprained his ankle and he can't stay up on his toes. And he's going to have to hold on for a while here and try to regain it looks stability like in that leg. It looks like Jimmy Thunder definitely, definitely was going to capitalize on that right away. Oh, Thunder capitalized it with a hook over the right. He like this, his face is in pain. That back leg of him, the back right leg, is definitely bothering him. Right now, for him not to cure any more damage, he's got to go for the lucky punch, go for the golden moon goose, as they call it, and try to knock out Jimmy Thunder. Well, his body's so out of proportion, and you can tell right now by the way he's moving, that he hurt that leg when he slipped to the canvas. He has no bounce right now whatsoever. Well, like I said, those are the biggest shorts I think I've ever seen on any heavyweight in my life. And uh, well, I think those are the shorts he had earlier in his career. You go back to 1995, he weighed 305 pounds and 301 pounds for, for two fights, respectively, back then. He managed to get down as low as 250 pounds for his fight with Moses Harris back in 97. Well, Arnie, it's like they say on the streets, he has a weight problem, he can't wait to eat. That's the problem. Now, he's been stopped three times in his career. Back in 95, Bone Crusher Smith stopped him in two. Pele Reed over in England stopped him in nine. And Vladimir Klitschko stopped him in three as recently as October of 98. Well, he's got some big names on his roster right now. And Jimmy Thunder's looking to put Eli Dixon on his roster right now. And uh, with that hurt leg, the weight problems, Eli Dixon has a lot going against him tonight. Well, Thunder needs to stop him if he's going to make some noise again in the heavyweight division and let everybody know he's back. A decision win would not even look good right now for Thunder. Meantime, though, Letting Dixon back into this round, and Dixon seems to be getting a little bit of movement back into that leg that he looked like he sprained going down. Oh, but a big right over the top rocks, Dixon. When they go to the inside, it doesn't allow Jimmy Thunder to let any combination or any punches go. He like Dixon's getting the better combination going to the inside. Taking a look there at Eli Dixon limping back to his corner. Don't be surprised if he don't come out for the third round. Orlin Norris revisited here. And invisible pain right now is Eli Dixon. We'll take a look here. End of the round and Thunder having his way with 
Dixon throughout the entire round once Dixon fell to the canvas and could no longer move around. He's got the doctor in his corner right now looking at that leg, and I'm telling you, Dixon's not going to continue. Well, the big thing is that with his leg, is you have that much weight falling down on a leg that size. He's going to injure something. He might have shattered his knee. He got twisted his ankle, killing tendon. A lot can happen. And Dixon's not coming out. Dixon cannot continue dropping his almost 300 pounds on that leg when he slipped at the beginning of the second round. Jimmy Thunder visibly upset in his corner because he wanted to get some work in after an 18-month layoff. He's real unhappy with the outcome of this. Well, if you work this hard for a fight and this happens, unfortunate accident, it's kind of ugly on you because, you know, you train hard. You want to fight. Well, I think Kevin, he wanted the opportunity for a clean knockout should it have come. He was certainly having problems with Dixon in the first round, which we both scored for Dixon. Dixon, though, fell on that leg and uh, managed to survive the second round, but it took all of his mobility away. And uh, we said he moved real well for a 300-pound man dancing up and down there, but you fall and your body is so out of proportion the way his is today, coming in 26 pounds more than he weighed for his last fight, that uh, yeah, a serious weight problem. Yeah, well, that's an understatement. Yeah. Well, he's got to get on top of it here. We're going to take a look, though. We've got the replay here. You're going to see how he fell near the beginning of the second round, and you can see the legs were spread apart, loses his balance, falls right onto the right knee and the left knee as well, and I couldn't really even tell. It wasn't like it was twisted off. I think his weight going down with the force of gravity is what caused his leg to get hurt. And he's rubbing the right leg there. It's the right leg that really bothered him. He, he fell right on his knee. With that much weight going down in that little tiny knee, I mean, the body might get big, but the knee, the bones don't grow like the body does when it's overweight. Well, we're going to see how they call it. And we're going to go up to Mark Biro with the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, the ringside physician has stopped this bout due to a right leg injury to the red corner and not due to a foul. Therefore, the winner by technical knockout in round two, James Thunder. Thunder. Well... Jimmy Thunder will improve to 34 and 9 with that being officially his 27th knockout. Dixon will drop down to 22 and 6. Very disappointed. He hasn't got back up off the stool since he sat down there. Lit back to that stool at the end of the second round. I'm not a fight you did. I'm just we I think we'll do real good. Dixon saying he'd like to fight again. Nice job, son. And fight Thunder again. I'm sure there are bigger plans in the future though for Thunder and uh Dixon being helped to his feet right now. And uh we're gonna try to get Jimmy Thunder down there and see how he felt after um, 18 months of a layoff and uh, how he was feeling during that first round, which was looking just a little bit shaky there, Kevin. The rust was showing and uh, managed, though, to turn things around. And uh, very disappointed, though. And I'm sure after this amount of time, he wanted to get the work in. But... Uh, We'll get the opportunity. The man from down under with us right now. First of all, Jimmy, good to see you back in the ring after 18 months. You look very disappointed, though, at the fight getting stopped. You wanted to get some more work in. Yeah, I needed the rounds. I needed the rounds. Uh, I, like, I was looking like a good three rounds, you know, warm up here and there. Uh, I was throwing bones, but then he was coming back. He was surprised me with some, coming back with some punches. And I thought, whoa, I've got to work a little bit more. Because, you know, I've got a lot of ring rust. And I needed the round to get rid of the ring rust um, for the person out there. Well, he looked unusually fast for a guy carrying 300 pounds in the first oh, round. Did that like, surprise you a bit? No, he's like a Tony Tubbs. You know, he knows how to use his weight. He knows how to use his slickness. So, you know, he's got it all. But, you know, uh, we won, won a few more rounds from him. But, uh, you know, ring rust is, is, is the main problem here. And, uh, 
Got to get rid of it. Okay, well, let's talk about the rust situation. How soon do you want to get back into the ring and against two? I want to be in the ring like I, you know, like I used to be. I want to be in the ring twice a month, three times a month. Let's get it on. You know, I'm back. It took me a while to get back to America because, you know, you don't, the Americans don't like us foreigners getting the visas. I had a visa problem. And, well, uh, our executive producer, Brad Jacobs, is here, and he used to do the USA fights, and maybe you're a bit of a jinx for him where we got a lot of time to fill because he remembers when you took out Crawford Grimsley in about 40 seconds. Oh, yeah, Crawford Grimsley, yeah. But, uh, this guy here, he was pretty good, you know, he got a, little, a lot of experience, he's had, he's had a lot of uh, experience fighters that he's, he's had in the past, and uh, I wanted to get some ring rust out of my system, and I was just getting uh, involved and getting, getting hyped up, but then his leg fell on, so I don't know, he's got a lot of weight on him. There's been, there's been some rumored names out there about some people that you might be fighting down the road. Any comment on them? I want to fight them more. I want David Tua, but David Tua, they say I'm too too risky. I'm too dangerous. I said, come on, man. You know, he's looking for the big one. Uh, there's a lot of politics out there, you know, it's not what you know, it's you know. Then there's Tyson, you know, there's a lot of fighters out there, but I just want to work and, you know, let's get it on. Well, hopefully we can get you back on Explosion, get you a little bit of work again, and then we'll see you in one of the bigger fights. But great, nevertheless, to see you back. Happy the visa problem's all worked out, and the leg looks okay, too. Oh, yeah, I'm coming back. Thunder's back in town. There's a new Thunder in the house. All right, good to see you again, Jimmy. All right, James Thunder. We take a look one more time, and you're going to see Eli Dixon dropping 300 pounds down on that, what Kevin calls that little knee. But Thunder will improve to 34-9, 27th knockout, and a very dejected Eli Dixon in his corner. He drops down to 22-6. and six. Pat Russell raising the hand of Thunder. We had heard a lot of rumors, but I don't know if he can do it off of this fighter, Kevin, about him possibly being Mike Tyson's opponent for the January date. It could happen, it could happen, but I tell you, he's got to shake the rusty. Well, you know what's funny? Both of them are rusty, so it could be a good fight. As always is the case with Tyson.